Welcome to Stock Invest YouTube channel and this stock report for Ford. The report was first published on our website Friday, June 24, 2022, but this is a more detailed version. Our aim is to help you answer the question, should I buy or sell Ford? In this video, you will get insight into the technical and fundamental situation and future price predictions. Please remember to subscribe, hit like and notification bell so you will be first to know when we post a new updated video. Since June 9, 2022, our system ranks the Ford stock as a sell candidate, giving it a score of minus 1.930. In this period the stock has had a loss of minus 9.56%. This is an average return of minus 0.87% per day since first recommended. In our daily updates for Ford our last headline reads, Ford stock price ended on $12.01 on Friday after gaining 3.89%. The Ford stock price gained 3.89% on the last trading day, Friday, June 24, 2022, rising from $11.56 to $12.01, and has now gained five days in a row. It will be exciting to see whether it manages to continue gaining or take a minor break for the next few days. During the day the stock fluctuated 4.75% from a day low at $11.57 to a day high of $12.12. .12. The price has risen in 6 of the last 10 days, but is still down by minus 9.56% for this period. Volume has increased on the last day along with the price, which is a positive technical sign, and, in total, 2 million more shares were traded than the day before. In total, 55 million shares were bought and sold for approximately $665.65 million. In the last 52 weeks, the highest price of the stock was $25.87, and the lowest price was $10.90. Right now the price is 53.58%, or $13.86, below 52-week high at $25.87, which also is all-time high for the stock. The stock lies in the middle of a wide and falling trend in the short term and further fall within the trend is signaled. The current three-month trend indicates a possible minus 28.36% change over the next three months, with a possible return between minus 26.64% and minus 15.12%. The 12-month trend it indicates a 2.22% change over the next 12 months with a possible return between 3.98% and 124.79%. This equals a price between $12.49 and $27 after a year. Analyst Ratings and Price Targets From analysts Ford stock received a general strong buy rating. The analysts give P.E. ratio a strong buy and price to book a strong buy rating. For the return on investment the analysts give the Ford stock a neutral rating. In this section we will give you some information about signals found for Ford. We will start with the general picture before we move on some of the most famous indicators and signals that will give you a deeper and better understanding of the trading possibilities in the stock. A buy signal was issued from a pivot bottom point on Friday, June 17, 2022, and so far it has risen 6.95%. Further rise is indicated until a new top pivot has been found. Volume is rising along with the price. This is considered to be a good technical signal. Some negative signals were issued as well, and these may have some influence on the near short term development. The Ford stock holds a buy signal from the short term moving average, at the same time, however, the long term average holds a general sell signal. Since the long term average is above the short term average, there is a general sell signal in the stock giving a more negative forecast for the stock. On further gains, the stock will meet resistance from the long term moving average at $12.87. On a fall, the stock will find some support from the short-term average at $11.61. A breakup through the long-term average will give another buy signal, while a fall below the short-term average will add another sell signal and strengthen the general signal. Furthermore, there is currently a sell signal from the three-month moving average convergence divergence MACD. Here are some other signals you might find interesting. Moving average convergence divergence holds a sell signal. Pivots gave a buy signal five days ago. Bollinger gave a buy signal six days ago. The short-term moving average for the three-month chart gave a buy signal two days ago. The long-term moving average for the three-month chart gave a sell signal 60 days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages in the three-month chart holds a sell signal. If we look at the 12-month chart we see 
Short moving average gave a sell signal 12 days ago. The long term moving average gave a sell signal 98 days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages gave a buy signal 92 days ago. Remember to go to our page at stockinvest.us if you want to find more signals. Support, Risk and Stop Loss for Ford Ford finds support from accumulated volume at $11.81 and this level may hold a buying opportunity as an upwards reaction can be expected when the support is being tested. This stock may move much during the day, volatility, and with a large prediction interval from the Bollinger Band this stock is considered to be high risk. During the last day, the stock moved 55 cents between high and low, or 4.75%. For the last week, the stock has had a daily average volatility of 3.9%. Let us have a look at some fundamental data you should be aware of before we tell you some possible good trading levels for Ford. The price to earnings ratio, PE ratio, is the ratio for valuing a company that measures its current share price relative to its per share earnings. Ford currently has a price earning ratio of 4.18. This is a relatively low price-to-earnings ratio and either signal a low expectation for the future of the company, or that the stock is undervalued and could indicate a buying opportunity. Here are some possible good day trading levels. On an upturn, Ford meets first resistance at $12.83. If you do not hold Ford shares you should wait for this level to be broken before placing your bet. If you already have the stock this is the level you may want to swing trade. On a downturn Ford finds first level of support at $11.81 and this is a natural place to put your bet if the support holds with an expectation of a rebounce upwards. In the table we have listed other potential swing trading levels based on the, the famous Fibonacci model. The average ratings combined from several analyst sources for Ford is strong buy. Here are some of the latest insider trades. On June 1, 2022 Vemeyer John B. made an inside buy of 1,012 of Ford stock units. On June 1, 2022 Vajvadik Lin M. made an inside buy of 866 of Ford stock units. On June 1, 2022 Weinberg John S. made an inside buy of 1,299 of Ford stock units. On June 1, 2022 Thornton John L. made an inside buy of 2,440 of Ford stock units. On June 1, 2022 Kennard William E. made an inside buy of 1,117 of Ford stock units. Based on the 100 latest insides trades, we have calculated the insider power to be positive at a ratio of 48.393. In total, the insiders bought 3,778,466 and sold 1,270,586 shares in the last 100 trades. We hold a negative evaluation for this stock, no stop loss set. Is Ford stock a buy? Ford holds several negative signals and we believe that it will still perform weekly in the next couple of days or weeks. We, therefore, hold a negative evaluation of this stock. After analyzing the volatility and movements for the last trading day our systems find that the current price is overvalued. For the trading on Monday 27th we expect Ford to open down negative 11 cents and start trading at $11.90. We remind you that trading involves a high risk of losing money, and that you should speak with a financial advisor before buying or selling any securities. You should not base your investment decision upon stockinvest.us. By using the information you agree and are held liable for your own investment decisions. That's the end of this video, thanks for watching. And remember to subscribe to the channel to get all the latest videos and updates.